Hello everyone, and my name is Raging Falcon, and today we have the Wrestling Grand Prix of the Netherlands, the first ever Wrestling Grand Prix held by Raging Falcon Pro Wrestling. Why do we host a Wrestling Grand Prix, do you ask? Uh, if you haven't read it, make sure to do so on a website, a wiki, a Facebook, all RFPW 2014 uh, and a website.weebly.com, wiki Raging Falcon Pro Wrestling.wiki.com. Uh, we have created a Formula M and Formula W championship. In essence, it means that the one who, uh, those people who have held the titles the longest, the show championships, uh, top the order of merit lists, uh, become part of the match of the week, become a dual champion, get all the kinds of various statistics that might lead to them becoming a actual uh, world champion. That is not uh, related to the world championship after all uh, and that creates an M class for the men and for the women the W class um, and we have to been talking uh, we have been toying about with this idea that from either June or next year uh, we can have teams registering up for the championship um, and also getting a team championship into place as well We've been toying with that idea and we're going to get that to you as soon as we can. Uh, but for now, we hope you're going to have fun with the Wrestling Grand Prix of the Netherlands. And uh, we'll see where it goes from there on out. We have two semi-finals uh, and the final for uh, as well as the M and W class. Which will give additional points um, to uh, the actual uh, wrestlers. And those wrestlers, uh, that will always be a top four of who has performed the best uh, in the last month. A loss in the semi-final will give you two points, a final loss five points, and a final win ten points to keep it fair. And I think it's time we start the pay-per-view, better said event, and we will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Cut. Okay, good. Let's get this Grand Prix rolling. They call themselves the Guardians of the Galaxy. What a bunch of a-holes. Hello everyone, my name is the Raging Falcon and today I'll be taking you through the Wrestling Grand Prix of the Netherlands. Hashtag Dutch WGP. And first off, we're kicking it off with a Formula M Championship semi-final. For this first event, we have selected the top four of the order of merit of both uh, the men's and women's division. Of course, the Formula M Championship for the men and for the women, the Formula W Championship. Championships to crown the best overall wrestler at the end of the year as the world champion. Not related to this belt that Mr. Joe Coffey is wearing who has been holding this world championship for over 120 days and until his reign ends the world championship will be in place let me tell you that Joe Coffey also leading the Formula M championship with 59 points canning in his current reign as world champion and today he'll be facing Wait for it. The number 10 of the Formula M Championship. And he, of course, has a high order in the ranking. He's the number 5 on the order of merit. It's Will Osprey. Why is Will Osprey number 5 and he is here? Uh, we didn't include uh, Mr. Let me take a look at it. Freddy Stahl in this time. And I can tell you why. We've cleaned up, because of the Formula M Championship, we cleaned up the Premier League results from the Order of Merit. We also gave us a load of weeks we had a different leader, such as um, Axel Lutz Jr. and Medium taking over some weeks as the leader. And therefore, Freddy Stahl is not here. Um, but he knows where he's at. 
in the championship. He has now six points, uh, taking you to through the top three of the Formula M championship. Joe Coffey with 59, Axel Dieter Jr. with 39, and Jeffrey with 11. That is your top three right now. The loser of this match will get two points. The winner will advance to the final. Should he lose out, will it get five points? And should he win the final, he will get ten points for the championship. So it's going to be a very interesting night. We not only have in Formula M and Formula W championship uh, contenders, we also have an attack team titles on the line, a student title and a young guns title. But there's more to come to tonight. Schedule time that we will be live is for one and a half hour, I guess, up to two hours. One should be doing it. After this match, we'll go to the. F oh my god! He just did not do that. What the fuck? Next up, we have the Formula W Championship first semi final between Viper and Mia Yim. Which is direct battle for the uh, W Championship points. And Mia Yim winning would be the best thing, otherwise, she's losing out. I will come into that situation later on. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's going to hurt, isn't it? Well, yes, there's so much more to come, and we're looking forward to all of it. We're also getting our finances at the ready. Um, to keep you informed of the current situation, we were in depth at the end of April. We are now in solid grains with the head production. We uh, shall reach a capital of 5,000 soon. We don't have to forget that we will also have to dish out the bonus of jackpot at the end of the year. Also very important. Willow spray going for the cover. And a two count. Hashtag Dutch Wrestling Grand Prix, Dutch WGP. To at RFPW2014, which you can tweet out as we are live. And we should be. Osprey. Come on. Good job. Come on, Osprey. And of course, we're sending all the words out. There we go. Send that tweet so everyone can find us. Joe Coffey, the world champion since the 17th of January. He's doing so well. Will Ospreay, former flyweight champion. Um, but looking at the flyweight championship actually, Ospreay only held the title for 10 days. Uh, whereas Mark Andrews will now gain slightly in the standings. Uh, with Mark Andrews uh, now holding the flyaway title for over a month. And for holding that flyaway title, he will receive three points, but 30 days reign. Doesn't have to be in a single reign, but 30 days overall throughout the year. That's what will set the standings. Osprey inside out for a 50 splash. Cover. And I doesn't do it, and I thought he was very close to it actually. Also, announcing that we have three new wrestlers coming up in the academy, uh, in which the academy um, is coming back soon actually. It's coming out this Sunday. Um, uh, let me check what I wanted to say. We have two female wrestlers coming up, Julie Schneider from the Netherlands and Robin Lindbergh from Sweden. 
as well as Jelle van Ass, also from ne the Netherlands, coming to Raging Falcon Pro Wrestling this year. If you want to have more information, go to wiki Raging Falcon Pro Wrestling dot wiki a dot com. You can find out all about the new Formula M and W Championships. Check out the current standings on the wiki a or our website under the Formula Championships, and we'll get you uh, soon informed about the new formula uh, team championship that's coming up and we are of course looking still for a name one two Osprey very close but it was not enough at least not in my mind he has to do more and he might be able to do that Today we will see uh, in the men's tournament Kofi Osprey, Kyle O'Reilly and Axel Lich Jr. And the women's tournament Viper, Miriam, Melanie Gray and Candice Lowray. There we go. Oh man. Tornado DDT Osprey now. What more can he do? Oh no. He's going over the rope. Dangerous decisions here. Oh no. But awaits the thing that coffee is about to do. Oh, but coffee strikes back. Russian leg sweep. Oh, here we go, King of Swing. Osprey. Dear. Can he get out of it? I don't think he will. Joe Coffey doesn't advance. Two counts. Damn! That could have been it for him. But it isn't. Who might have benefited the most today to get the 10 points? Of course, Axel Dieter Jr. We can have a slightly run in as uh, Kyle O'Reilly only has two points. Will Osprey currently at uh, three, and Joe Coffey's at 59. So very tricky there. And Freddie Stahl only at six at the number four position. We also have a rookie division this year, of course, uh, because this is the first initial championship with Ryan Skills with three. Uh, Trey Savage with four actually, James Kelly with one, so we're counting them in as well. We're going to have a Rookie of the Year as well at the end, so we're going to see where that's going to take us. And seeing the way things are going now, Ryan Skills might be the one to do that in the end as Trey Savage has left the company and James Kelly is out indefinitely on a suspension. Or there might have to be one Rookie coming apart, we're still only in May and this ends. Oh, November. Oh, goodness. TKO. Osprey, go for the cover, mate. You can do it. He's been busted open. This is the best you can get it. Oh, drop kick. This is what you want to have. Being well, Osprey. Nope. Oh, man. Coffey now, it is not going to last it. Resting moment for Osprey. Oh, we're going to take it to the outside again. This is a great match. Oh, Coffey. Please don't do this, you're not suited for this. Good. With this match nearly going for 10 minutes now. It's going to be crowded in here. Three. Oh my goodness. And back into the ring they go. 
Oof. It's only one half, I guess. Oh, Osprey is phenomenal, mate. On the top rope. Oh, inside 450 splash again. That should be it. And it is Will Ospreay advance to the final of the first Formula M Championship semi-final, uh, not semi-final, tournament at the Dutch Wrestling Grand Prix. Mind you, this is not the only show we're doing this week. This Saturday we have the third episode in events at what called What Comes Around, dot, dot, dot. And that's it. I have nothing more for you. The Formula W semi-final number one Viper from Scotland leading the order of merit since two weeks again she lost four weeks to Mia Yim and the difference is really teetering tiny Viper leading over Mia Yim by 20 with a gap between Yim and Gray for 60 euros so <laughs> this is well ridiculous kind of <laughs> Jesus. Man. And her opponent, she's number two up for the Order of Merit. Trailing by 20. And looking at the actual standings. Viper leading the Formula W Championship with 37 points. Ahead of Miriam with 30 points. So there you have it. It's very close with the women's division. There we go. Oh, here we go. Straight on to the outside. And that's what you need. Oh, man. Was it necessary? Hmm, not really. Oh, oh boy, battering, battering and battering. <laughs> Viper from the top rope. Oh, shoulder tackle. Good for her. If she strikes me, I am out here. Me um, getting two points and Viper should win. Technically, we have 47 um, to 32 points. And so the gap will increase by eight in that case. Jeez. That would be a tough ride. On Viper lands a quite odd splash. There we go, Viper. Oh, so close though. There we go. Oh man. Oh my good job. <laughs> Jeez. 
two. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I love it. So what can we expect from these women to go by you today? Could go multiple ways. Viper, here we go, boy. The same way, did she? Nearly broke the neck. Oh, Jessica's under in February. What is only a two count? It happened last time between rivals. And it ended nearly so badly. There we go. Oh no, Viper gonna put her down oh, and that's horrible actually two oh man might have hoped there was more and better things coming on the way. Viper now from the top of Superplex. Hi Chihuahua. Hmm. I don't know what to say anymore. This is crazy. And that's it. Viper advances to the final. Of the first top four summit for extra points in the Formula W Championship. My oh my. Oh boy, it is gonna be something. Will Viper reign supreme just as she's done before? Taking a look at the statistics, Viper has led the Women's Order of Merit by nine weeks in the longest reign and over 13 weeks total. Whereas Miriam has only done four weeks and just got under the remaining three. We're moving on to the Tag Team Championship. The Challengers, the Darkness. That's Jimmy Havoc and Jack Jester on the right. And the defending champions, Davey Richards and Eddie Edwards. Do I don't seem too ready for it. Now to do, okay. And here's the referee taking both the title belts, raising them up in the air, and it's time for the Tag Team Championship match. And there we go, we are on the way. Third match of the evening. We have nine scheduled for you. Unless something really weird happens, this is what we're gonna do. Leg lock straight away. Is it an Achilles tendon lock? I can't really assume that it is, but we we gonna go and stick with that. Ooh, good suplex by Richards. Richards taking it to the first ever Premier League champion of this year. With five other wrestlers, first in the round, Robin Bates and then the semi final and final event to claim 5,000 euros. All that sponsored by the Dutch Wrestling Federation. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, man. Nice. If there's anything you'd like to ask us, then please let us know. <laughs> we go. Come on. There we go. Good job. There we go. There we go. Jesus. There we go. Come on. Here's what you want to have. Yes. Oof, good job. Tag mate to Eddie at works here. Oh, good job by Edwards. Ow, that's got it hurt. Why don't want it to hurt? Oh, havoc. Interfering there, kicking it to the curb. As Edwards tried to scale the ropes, oh no! Have a look! Oh, good night! This is the exact move for which he won the Premier League. And now it's up to Havoc to finish the work that just started. There we go. Oh. Take down. Oh. Two count. There we go. Oh no, left them hanging. Well, that's not good. I'll tell you that. It's not good. Oh man. Come on. Top rope superplex. Ooh. Landing furiously on the back. That didn't go well. Oh, and again on the back. Havoc looks in pain. Oh, too kind. He gets out, but that's not feeling too well. Have a getting out. Upwards planet. Two count. 
fair count a havoc and for the darkness to get a new championship run but it's not happening There we go. There we go. <laughs> Good luck. Come on. Oh my god. Uh, Richards breaks up in time. Oh, but there he goes. Out he goes. Havoc taking it to him. And Chester battling it out with Edwards. Oh, Richards. Stay out there. Stay in that corner. If Eddie needs you. And that might be now. I don't have to do it. Come on. Richards gets it. Havoc's on to mount again. I'm not going for a beating here. Come on. Let's go. Oh, Jester, London Bartley, cover, and that's it, oh my god, Havoc, oh man, did you see that, that didn't look good, really it didn't, but here are your winners and still tag team champions, the team of Dave Richards and Eddie Edwards, the Wolves, but I am really concerned for Jimmy Havoc here. That landing didn't look good. Oh my goodness. That was not good. That didn't look good. Oh, how will he do after this one? The Wolves still at the champion. But my concern is with Jimmy Havoc here. It just didn't look good. We're going to continue on with the Formula M Championship Top 4 Summit. The semi-final 2 taking place right now. Ding, 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 ding. We're going to the man from Cape Breton, Canada. He stands at position number 12 in the Formula M Championship. And number four of the Order of Merit, Kyle O'Reilly. That's going to be something. I will, I will actually wonder how he's going to do. I'll actually, actually be curious about that. There we go. Oh, there we go. But he's going to have a tough opponent, ladies and gentlemen. The number two in the current Formula M Championship standings. And number one on the order of merit, it's Axel Dieter Jr. Now that's going to be something. I'm wondering how well he's going to do here. He could go multiple ways. Here we go. 
Dita Jr. versus O'Reilly. We've seen this before. And that's happened for the RFPW Championship, actually. And now it's at the top first top four summit of the first ever Wrestling Grand Prix. The next Wrestling Grand Prix will be in July and will be held in Belgium. There we go. Take it easy. You can do it. He's working what he has to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Eat the junior. Nature Jr. knows what to do, but can he pull it off here tonight? If he wants to go up in the championship standings, well, there's work to do here. And not the least of bits. It could be worse. Let's keep it up. Dita Jr. keeps it going. Which is really cool that he does. There we go. Oh, oh damn, here we go. Gator Jr.'s nailing a while here. That is not the first time we've been doing that. Oh, here we go. Not a superplex. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Two. I'm gonna keep the actual live standings on the wiki. And you can follow that. Unless you hope it works out. Oh my! Here we go, Max Lich Jr. Live scores can be found on Raging Falcon Pressing Wiki 8 dot com. Yeah. Good job. And here we go, O'Reilly now taking over. Depending on what you like to see is a good thing. Oh, 
Oh, oh. O'Reilly comes to two, but not more than that. But he needs more. Everyone should advance, he needs more. I was not going to cut into norm lock. No, he would definitely need more than that. And I know that he will try to go for it, but it might not be over here. But Dita Jr. is now on the suffering end. And O'Reilly's taking it to him. What seemed to be a run race for Dita Jr. is might now go the other way round. Now reminds us this Saturday, episode three, what comes around. That's it. <laughs> Oh no, no fucking way! He's dead. He's dead. Is he breathing? Ref, check on him. Oh my god, he's standing, but I don't know how. Not a polder, but Oh god. Dita Jr. might be out of it. Into the hands of O'Reilly. God. Oh no. Ref, is this good? This doesn't look too good. Alrighty, going in and out. I doubt he wants to hurt his opponent like he does, but. Oh, Dita Jr. fighting back. Putting him back into the ring. Don't know where this comes from. All of a sudden, Dita Jr. gets back in it. Oh, really? Striking it up. Who's going to win this semi final? And I've on to the final. Curious. Dita Jr. to the top rope. There we go. Oh, good leg drop. Holy Canelli. And it's two. Well, it'll be Canada or Germany to advance to the final of the Dutch Wrestling Grand Prix. Oh man! And of course, we will post the results of each Wrestling Grand Prix in the wiki as well under the season. There we go. And that's it. Kyle O'Reilly advances. Wow. Kyle O'Reilly. That is great, we're going to add that all into the wiki page that we have going right now, the live results. And we're moving on to the Formula W Championship uh, Top 4 Summit. Now for the semi-final number 2. Introducing first from Coburg, Germany, she's the number 3. In the Formula W Championship currently at 22 points. And he is on the number 3 position as well in the order of merit. Ladies and gentlemen, Melanie Gray. For her share of the jackpot, she reaches out to 22 points. There's a really distinct top 3 in here. But soon they might get company from Kim Blight. Who is nearing the promotion mark of 20 points? Um, who shall compete on the Academy 46 against Flora Levity this Sunday? And then we know whether she will be promoted to the Women's Championship division. And her opponent for tonight. 
She is the number four in the order of merit. And in the Formula W Championship, she ranks at place number seven. It's Candace Lorray. And Lorray has 10 points in the standings. Due to having been Glamazon's champion for 30 days. Uh, Melanie Great 60 days as a former Glamazon champion and two matches of the week participating participations I'm sorry therefore 20 plus 2 points if you have any questions please let us know we'll open to any questions on Twitter at rfw 2014 or send us an email the raging falcon at gmail.com There we go, great overturn. Oh man. Good job. And we have questions on what things will happen uh, this year. Well, we have no idea. Anything can happen, don't you think? as far as I'm concerned it, it could go anyway for now Joe Coffey and Viper are leading the championships and for now as it looks they will be uh, extending um, expanding their lead but we're just in May so <laughs> we'll have to see at the end of the year how that all turns out and Ray fighting back with Gray the Ray's got the size advantage as well. And drops her on the hind leg. Laredo. Oh man, overhead turn. Jawbreaker on the counter. Oh, roll true. One can only, what great tactics by Leray. Grado, what can she do? Ray for the rule through on the leg. Ow, yeah that's gonna hurt. Leray scouting. And she does perfectly. Oh my goodness, you just did not do that. Crazy moves here by Ray. As we're only not even well just on the half eight point of the wrestling Grand Prix of the Netherlands. And I have no clue who's going to win this one. We saw it in the last match with Tita Jr. taking over until it tipped harm's way. And that could be the very thing happening here tonight. And this Lorraine oh, gets powerbombed. Gets a leg lock in. Pushing it hard. Taking out the legs. But it's not over yet. Oh, it's got a sort of a barrel, but rolling through and getting out of it. But Melanie Grado puts her on top. And are we going for another superplex? Yes, we do. Here we go. Oh, man, that's got to hurt. We've got a news about Jimmy Havoc from the darkness. He's going to have to go to several scans following the weird attack even after the bell rang by Davy Richards. And so far, we know that he will be out with injury, but how long, we have no idea. Gray with a two count. 
So we wish Jimmy Havoc all the best and hope he returns sooner than later. He might be out for the long haul. Oh. And Candice LeRae. Oh, didn't know what she was going to do. But she's going to the top rope. Always dangerous. But now, especially. Oh my god. Moonsaw then connects. Doesn't go for the cover here. Wants to finish it in style. But style is not always the best to finish it off. And Grey on the counter. But you could have expected. This might be a good night for Candice. Cover. Oh no, Candice LeRae gets out. Oh shit. There we go for the roll tree again. There we go. Jeez. Two, man. God. Wow. He's <laughs> dude, the ray is shattering it. Yeah, that looked painful. Don't want to get a foot imprint on your face. Well, the ray seems to do it. go oh man that could have been it but you know how it's gonna go it always has to be a lot of two cans before it ends here in our w exciting to a finish Loray now and gets the head scissors to connect Lorraine now. Oh, a good help with a job. Is this going to be where it's going to be finished off? No. Lorraine wants to do more just to make sure. Can this Lorraine? Oh, no, you're not. She's gonna go oh, kick her in the car. Oh my god. It's less painful, I guess, if men, but still. Holy balls. Well, there are no balls actually, but you get the feeling. You don't, but you know what I mean. Oh god, painful. But Grey looks like she doesn't care. Damn! The Ray is on perfection here tonight. What an amazing semi-final here. Whoever goes through, they definitely deserved it. Come on. 
Oh no, here we go. Oh, good night. Melly Gray is in for a world of hurt. Bloody hell. Oh, that is it. That's it. If she doesn't go through now, then I don't know what will take her through. Oh no! <laughs> this match is ridiculous! But it's so good! Marie's put out all the stops and Gray has counted most of it. Cover! This should be it! It would be it! Is it? Candice LeRae advances! Yo, we're now moving on to the final of the top four summit of the Formula W Championship. Candace LeRae. Oh boy, is this really going to happen? Oh my goodness. A fatal four-way match for the Students' Championship. Quite out loud. Okay, here we go from Gainesville, Florida. Stand at 170 tall, weighing at 73 kilos. Will Street. This guy grew so much ch uh, seeing our academy report at the beginning of this year. Amazing work by the guy. Definitely did so. And I can only appreciate that. Seeing the efforts he's made, he's bound to be here for a longer while. Former young student champion earlier this year. And so he knows what to do. Oh man. And here we go, challenger number two from Aberdeen, Scotland, standing at 195 tall, weighing at 83 kilos. It's the Anarchist. Holy crap. And he's just 15 years of age, you wouldn't be telling that, but he's not even growing anymore. So I think there's something that uh, didn't really go right, but in the end it went good. And here we go. Come on, let's go. And there we go, <laughs> oh, challenger number three from Wellington, New Zealand, standing at 174 tall, weighing at 73 kilos, Vincent Sparks. Congratulations. So what more is that oh, that we can do? Here we go. From Vincent Sparks. So we've got somebody from Scotland. Somebody from the uh, U. No, not the USA. Scotland. USA, yes, New Zealand. Quite a lot. And here it is. 
the current reigning and defending student champion from Honolulu, Hawaii. Stand at 179 tall, weighing at 103 kilos, Troy Marquinos. And he's feeling it. There we go. That's a true champion. But he is a true champion. We know him for it. So let's see what that's going to be. Fade off all the way for the student championship. What's it going to be? That's what it's all about, the students championship. Here we go. Sparks, McQueeners, the Anarchist and Street. Let's go. This could end up in a random ball. We don't know where this is gonna go, so please don't ask me because I really don't know. If I had known, I would have told you so. But I don't know, so I'm not gonna tell you. There we go. Street has taken the current champion to the outside. I mean the Anarchist, sorry. While Street is working on Vincent Sparks. And McQueen is trying away for the baseball bat. Wants to deal damage right away. smash into the chairs there's going to be an all out brawl at the Dutch Wrestling Grand Prix oh <laughs> McQueen is really taking it to it. <laughs> and this also could go anyway. That's what makes it interesting. After this we have a Young Guns Championship match. And then also the finals of the top four summit of the Formula W and Formula M championship. The Anarchist waiting for McQueen. It's the best decision. Takes him out. I don't know what it is. How's the falls? Can anywhere rules apply to it? So we'll have to see what's going to be happening on the road. I can tell you that this is intense. But I love it. I do love it. I can't help it. I love it. gets the first cover of the match and gets close to winning it. He was able to take the students to a whole new level. Ryan Skills is the most notable absentee here, but also he, as well as Kim Blight, will go off against an opponent. Uh, uh, to go for promotion. Kim Blight will face Floyd Levity. Ryan Skills will face the student champion, whoever that may be at the end of this night. Mark Queen is 
two to retain the title and it's not enough there has to be more and McQueen is Fireman's carry gut buster might be getting it cover Ah, McQueen is only on the two. Sparks. To the top province, not enough. Knows that. Oh, Street takes over. And so does Sparks. Two cat. Oh, good night. To the Anarchist. Cover. All kinds of action here. There's no way of telling who's going to win this. Will Street. Cover. Takes too long for the referee to start counting. And it's a two. Nearly three, but not enough. Sparks now taking over. Taking it to Street. But my, is this tense. Anakai's choke slam to the champion. Cover. Oh, that was nearly a tree count. It's a treat now. Oh, this is mayhem. DT to the floor. Cover. Sparks to break up, of course. I hope yes does. And street now. Two count. Anarchis. Oh, Lance Wall Street. Uh, Vincent Sparks hard. Cover. And Street breaks it up. As we go so many levels and ways. DDT. Anarchis. With the option now to win this match. But he doesn't. He's leaving it all out there. Go to the cover and Sparks. Cover. Two count. Crying out loud. This is a free for all. Oh, he knocked the referee over. Nobody able to count here. So they have to do with what they've got now. Oh, and Street busted open. Fox cheered done by the 450 fans in attendance. Saw that crowd once again capacity increased. Choke slam and the coys on McQueeners. Cover. And that's it. The Anarchoys wins. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, your winner and new student champion, the Anarchist. Congratulations. And we're moving on to another championship match. Jeez. What good match is here tonight? I'm really going length to length here. Three matches more to go. Ladies and gentlemen, the following match is scheduled for one fall and is for the Young Guns Championship. Introducing the challenger from Nottingham, England. Standing at 182 tall. Weighing at 99 kilos. Gabriel Kidd. Gabriel Kidd ranked 19 in the order of merit notably the champion has ranked lower on place 22 so let's see what it's going to take us ladies and gentlemen I am pretty curious about this one because ladies and gentlemen introducing the champion from Carlisle, England, stand at 183 tall, weighing 91 kilos. It's Alexander Henry.
There we go, Young Guns Championship match is scheduled for you. And it's nearly go time. Who's going to win it? We've seen this occasion, non title and title before. Always with Henry. The class of power coming to the victory here, so it could go in various ways. The odds, however, are in favour of Mystic New Nation. The class apart, Alexander Henry. Well, let's see how it's going to go. There we go. The red title belt in the air. The former belt for the stu young students. Now the Young Guns Championship. And here we go. But this show is great, has been great so far. And undoubtedly the finals will be as amazing as well. I think this might be a, the shortest one of the evening actually. But you never know. From the corner out, corner counter I meant. Corner counter. Fine Buster. Magnificent jobs here performed by both the competitors. What to think about the things that are coming at episode 3 what comes around this Saturday. Oof. That's not what you want I guess. There you go. Henry now starting to be the shit out of Kit. This is what we had expected for you. To have another spine buster. Oh, I'm gonna roll ups. That might have hurt. Must have actually. And Kit on the counter. And we're still keeping it inside the ring. I expected it to go outside. As it did on the last two occasions between these two men. But for now, we're keeping it inside. Here we now pummeling it and pummeling it hard. Oof. Elbow take down. And this is the fate of the Young Guns Championship. Well. Henry's up for a long, long run with this title. Ever since Marty Skull dropped that title, things have happened. Let's actually take a look at it. The Young Guns title handed from Curtis Norman over to Skull, who then lost it to Henry after winning it eight days prior. And we now over a month the champion. And with winning tonight, he will secure his second month as champion. Oof. We're on the outside. Dropped out of the shoulders. But it's not going to be good. Did it just headbutt what I saw he headbutted? Ow! And we'll add five, get smart call to go back to the inside. 
but then taunts for no apparent reason gets speared for it. Good night. But oh, manages to kick out. That was the dumbest decision that I've ever seen a wrestler make in and outside of this ring. In RFPW history. But yeah, kick keeps going. I can't see how he does that. But still stays alive. Unbelievable. Oh man. Two. Nope. Shit. Oof. And Henry, just a two count. He's trying his hardest. Come on. Two count. Over the shoulder as he goes. Come on. Okay, you've got to put the fight in it. Otherwise, it's chance lost again. And somebody else would get the shot. You'll have to work your way back up again. Oof. That hurt. Henry now in the corner. Oh man. Running up a cut. Now to the top rope. And Kate couldn't get it done in time. Takes him out of the legs. But Kate, what are you gonna do now? It's not my choice for you, mate. Takes him down. Don't know whether that's the wisest thing to do at this moment. Because it could go very wrong. Puts him in the post, however. Yeah, he does. Finding something smart coming out of it. Over. And only two and a half. Not even. Jeez. And kick. Come on, mate. What are you doing? Exactly. Go for it. Oh, damn. Oh, no. That's it. Henry busted open. Come on, kid. You've got to go for the cover. It's going to the top rope. But is it beneficial enough? This is a drop. The elbow drop miss. Spear. Alexander Henry busted open wide. Is going to retain. No. I thought he was going to retain. He didn't. Kate's resilience is strong, but I don't know whether it's enough. 
Hey, come on, cover. Oh, no. This match is more back and forth than I had expected. Henry now. Same drop. And he's wavering him up now. Henry's through with it. There we go. The cross. And that's it. There we go. Here's your winner, Ant Steel, Young Guns Champion, Alexander Henry. Come on. Wow. I didn't think that was possible, but it is. Moving on to the finals of the Top 4 Summit of the Formula M Championship. Introducing first from Rain of England, it's Will Osprey. I think I said that right. I did, yay, good. Normally it doesn't happen, normally I always botch it, but hey, <laughs> we're doing fine tonight. If you have questions, please let us know. We're always there to answer them for you. He's going to have a tough opponent here tonight. But Osprey looks ready. And here is his opponent from Cape Breton, Canada. It's Kyle. Ooh, really? Oh, it's from Team Rad Dragon. Oh, this could be going not wrong, but it's not going as smoothly. I can tell you that. The loser walks away with five points. The winner with ten for the Formula M Championship. So everything is welcome. There we go. There we go. <laughs> That's cool. If there's questions that you have, then please let us know. We're very much looking forward to them. Oh, a takeover. Man. Oh, wow. There we go. Come 
There we go. Oh man. The finals here. Craziness ensues. Series of chance here. Oh, there we go. Is that what you like to say? Oh, damn. Keep it going. Is what you like to say. Good job. Oh, TKO! TKO for Will Osprey. Come on. What's more to come? Jesus. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, good job. Mine. Yeah, this could go into a lot of ways. I don't know what to expect from this one anymore. O'Reilly with the cover. Oh, we don't. We still have to expect everything they control at each other. Ridiculous how many things are happening here tonight. I can tell you. And O'Reilly is looking at it. And that might be the actual turnover for it. There we go. And it's good night for Will Ospreay. Kyle O'Reilly wins the top four summit here tonight. And goes on with the 10 points. For the Formula M Championship. Congratulations, mate. Well deserved. Don't know how you did it, but you did it anyway.
good job mate and now we're coming to the Formula W Championship final between this girl from Glasgow Scotland Viper well that's one thing actually And there's more on the way. And Viper, of course, will also get the overhand on me, Yim Moore, and Melanie Gray due to advancing here. So let's see what that's going to be. Yeah, we can go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The opponent for tonight is Candace Lorray. Let's see how that's going to evolve here. Jeez. It is absurd how far we've come tonight. Nearly one hour and 20 minutes later. I think it's a little bit later than that. But still, what an amazing night. Uh, the first ever wrestling Grand Prix. In my mind, very successful. Huge GDT by Viper at the beginning. And I cannot thank you enough for watching this. Make sure to do so. Already leave likes on YouTube, follow us on Twitch and Twitter, follow us on Facebook, make sure to like that page as well, RFPW 2014 or Raging Falcon Pro Wrestling, whichever you like to see it, and make sure to go subscribe to our YouTube channel, currently 103 subscribers, and we cannot thank you enough if you do, and we'll see more coming to it. There we go. Oh, <laughs> oh, good job. Oh, man. <laughs> Viper is really tending to it, isn't it? <laughs> oh boy! Oh, take him out, Viper to the outside. <laughs> oh. oh yeah! And we're going back to the inside. Craziness all around this evening. We see one championship switch up with the Anakais becoming a new student champion and dethroning. Um, Troy McQueen is here tonight. The winner of the Formula M Top 4 Summit is Kyle O'Reilly. And we're going to have to see what it becomes for the Formula W class. Oh, <laughs> oh, dude. Nope, counter. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Cover. And the ray gets two, but that's it. 
I don't think she's going to get any closer than that. Piper taking her for a slam. And I think this might be near over for her. Oh, but he's in stunner for Candice LeRae. She's got to keep momentum going. This could be near over and LeRae's got the momentum. That's a good thing. There we go, DDT on a huge one. Going to all to the other corner of the ring. Two count. This way you want to have it. One count. Jesus Christ. Come on. There we go. Oh no. Can this be aware of what you do? Viper. Can this. Viper. Can this. Viper. Can this. Viper. Can this. Can this. Alright. Oh my god. Suicide dive. But can she get the victory from it? Back into the ring. Lorraine now. The Viper takes over. Oh, big boot. Viper says I'm done with you now. Matches might be happening. Two double axe handles and a power slam to the mat. Is it might be time for the pile driver? And she does. Good night, Candice Lorray. Two count. Oh man. How did she get out from that? Alright. Oh, sit up, power bomb. That should be doing it. And that's it. Viper wins. Gets a 10 points for the Formula W Championship. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a good time at the Wrestling Grand Prix of the Netherlands. We'll be back this Saturday with episode 3, What Comes Around, and on Sunday with the Academy 46. With three debuts of Robin Lindbergh, uh, Yella Van Ass, and also Julie Snyders. See you that next time, and I'm wishing you a very, very good night.